Well, hello guys, how are you today? Uh, now I'm going to make a kind of a different type video for me. It's going to be about politics. Now I don't normally have anything to do with politics because basically they're all the same. They promise all these things to get into power, then they don't do them. And mostly all of them lie through their teeth. But I have noticed a kind of a shift in politics as of late. And let's just take some of the countries like my country, Canada. There's a woke government in power there and has been for some time. And it's destroyed Canada as we know it. At least as I know it. But hopefully their time is up. Then what about the UK? Well, another woke government is in power. And everything is completely broken in the UK. Even the police force has gone completely woke. And the only crimes they're interested in is hate crimes, not towards the British people, towards the other people you know. Then there's France with Macron, who is another woke politician, and has no care at all about the French people. Then, of course, we can't forget the United States, can we? Another woke government in power, who's very, very far left, as mostly all of them are now. You ever notice that far left equals woke? And anybody that challenges the government in power in these places, they always tag as far right. But if you take a look at the policies these people have, they're not far right at all. They're basically in the middle. And what they're saying is just common sense. Because everything is just goddamn broken. It's not working. Well, I bet there's some Democrats in the United States that are wondering what the hell happened to their party. All of a sudden they were in a position and then all of a sudden they're so far left. Which makes anybody with a different idea, obviously, far right. And all the media in these countries, generally speaking, are in the pockets of the governments. Trudeau actually openly bought the media in Canada. But the media does exactly the same in the UK and United States. He who controls the information controls the people. In these countries I've mentioned, all the media is biased, save for a few. No, what you got to do is not listen to any of the media at all and make your own decision. But it's pretty obvious to me that woke governments don't work. Now, as I've said, I've never really got into politics myself. I find it quite boring. But this time around, I am going to get involved. And I am going to vote. Most of the governments in power now at the moment do absolutely nothing and just virtual signal. So I'm going to vote for common sense. The trouble is you can't believe anything the media tells you. They've been bought and paid for. Generally, they're just an extension of the government that's in power at the moment. And if they're favourable to that government, they get kickbacks, don't they? It's kind of like living in North Korea. Males generally vote for the policies that person is offering. Femons actually vote generally for big governments, controlling governments, because it makes them feel safe, that they'll be taken care of. And they vote with their feelings, not the policies that person is offering. And I think it's a fact that more femons vote than males do. So if you guys want to change, you've got to vote. Because a lot of femons love a woke government. You know, I thought I could do this video without mentioning femons at all. <laughs> and that I couldn't. I mean, just take a look at the squad in the United States. Just a few activists all got together there. It's like watching The View. Just vipers spitting their venom. And there's quite a few vipers in the politicians in the UK too. We'll call them loose women. And I don't class them as politicians at all. I class them as activists. They don't want solutions. They want division and chaos. And gum up the works. And I have my doubts about Le Pen in France. But <laughs> anything's better than Macron. It's time for change, and it's time for common sense to return. Take it easy, fellas.